These machines are simple to operate and unskilled persons can easily be trained in a day or two to operate them and produce consistent block quality. The simple two-lever operation makes block production quick and easy to learn. Blocks are ready for use 14 to 21 days after production. Hydroform interlocking blocks are laid dry stacked, one on top of each other. This reduces the need for mortar and cement between the blocks during construction. The ease of laying the interlocking blocks means unskilled men and women can quickly be trained to lay the blocks while producing a high quality face brick finish. Training is conducted by Hydroform worldwide. Hydroform has its own property development division, which develops its own projects. From commercial and retail projects, to shared apartment housing, and upmarket housing estates. Worldwide, we work together with leading tertiary institutions for product testing, with continual research and development resulting in product improvements. During testing, 8% cement hydroform blocks have a proven load-bearing capacity of over 35 tons. Extensive and successful full-scale multi-story and wind load testing has been conducted. Hydroform blocks have excellent thermal performance as proven through thermal testing. Together with leading institutions, Hydroform developed, built and commissioned Africa's first full-scale earthquake simulator. Here, earthquake tests have been conducted on specially designed Hydroform earthquake resistant structures. Commencing with a low intensity earthquake simulation, then using the same structure, we increase to a medium earthquake intensity. And finally, after a high intensity 7 Richter scale equivalent earthquake simulation, the structure still remains safe, even after 70 full earthquake tests. Today, over 10,000 hydroform earthquake-resistant houses have been built in India, as well as the Caribbeans, Central America and South America. Worldwide, the hydroform building system has been used on many thousands of buildings. Here, it has also proudly been used on the Nelson Mandela Museum in Johannesburg, South Africa. The following are a few examples of international projects using Hydroform. A 100 schools with adjoining teachers housing in Burundi. Community housing projects in Argentina. Border posts between Swaziland and Mozambique. Various government buildings and offices in India. Middle income housing in South Africa. Over 100 schools in Malawi, country style housing and eco green housing projects in South Africa. Police housing projects in Uganda, university and college projects in Ethiopia, upmarket housing developments in Angola, private secondary school projects in Zambia. Upmarket housing projects in Tanzania. Middle to upper income housing projects in South Africa. A women's clinic in Burkina Faso. Warehouses and factories in Angola. A 1,000 house cyclone rehabilitation project in India. High quality schools and dormitories in rural Ethiopia. Nigerian housing estate developments. Desert research stations in Namibia. Places of worship in Uganda. The Kucha Cultural Center in South Africa. Upmarket hotels, industrial buildings, and a 700 house real estate development in Ethiopia. And in closing, 
a 50 kilometer long boundary wall. Or this particularly striking community center development, both set in South Africa. Hydroform keeps you smiling with a vision of providing the world with innovative, cost-effective building systems. This part of the video will assist you in establishing your own blockyard, taking you through block production and then later construction. Your blockyard begins with you first finding the best place for excavating soil. The hydroform blocks are made from soil and a 5 to 8% cement mixture. Soil makes up the biggest part of the block and is also known as murum, laterite, earth or subsoil. You will need to excavate in the region of one meter below ground level, ensuring that you are well beneath the topsoil which contains roots, grass, organic material and stones. Subsoil at around one meter depth is usually the best to make your hydroform blocks. The color of your soil will determine the color of your hydroform blocks. The soil is now sift, removing stones, soil lumps and large organic material. Larger industrial sieves can be used on big projects. Hydroform also supplies medium-sized, durable vibration screens. This sieve is used in conjunction with the Hydroform soil crusher and can reduce wastage. Sieving can also be done in the traditional way by using a fixed frame sieve with 8mm wire mesh screen. After sieving, the soil and cement are mixed together. The cement content will depend on the required strength of the block. Hydroform recommends between 5 to 8% cement by volume of the soil. Mixing can be done by hand. First the soil and cement are dry mixed together until an even color is achieved. After dry mixing, water is gradually added by using a watering can and then remixed thoroughly. Water must never be poured on as lumps will form and the cement can be washed out. Always sprinkle the water onto the mix. The mix is normally mixed twice after the water is added. When mixing by hand it is important to have two mixes continuously being prepared at the same time. This to ensure that there is always enough mix for block making. The alternative to hand mixing is using a hydroform pan mixer. Always level off the wheelbarrow to ensure correct quantities of soil are mixed with the cement. The soil is placed into the pan mixer along with the cement. The mix is dry mixed for approximately one minute until the mix is an even color. After dry mixing, the water is added. Never pour the water in directly, always use a sprinkler to evenly blend the water and mix. After one minute of wet mixing, the entire mix is released onto the ground and shoveled into buckets. The bucket is lifted and emptied into the soil hopper. The soil hopper is moved over the chamber to fill it. The hydroform machines can produce one block every 14 seconds. During block production, the block length is measured with a measuring stick to ensure consistency. The hydroform machines are simple to operate and even unskilled persons can easily be trained in a day or two to operate them and produce consistently high quality blocks. The machine's hydraulic levers are operated manually to eject and compress the blocks. Half blocks are made by using a smaller 5 litre bucket. No special mold is required and the same machine and mold is used for half block production. Blocks are then carried away and placed under plastic sheeting. After the first day the blocks are uncovered and wet twice daily. This is called curing. Curing is done for 7 to 14 days after production and will help the blocks gain strength and is a crucial part of block making. After thorough watering the blocks must be properly covered.
Random tests can be conducted using a hydroform block tester. After 28 days, the blocks would have almost gained their full strength. Sample blocks are tested and the results recorded. 5% cement gives a 4 MPA block, whilst 8% cement gives a 7 MPA block. Results are normally recorded. After 14 to 21 days, the blocks are ready for construction or transportation to the building site. Your mobile hydroform machine can then be moved to its next job site. Hydroform blocks can be used in foundation brickwork as well as superstructure. The first course at floor level is laid on a plastic damp-proof course with mortar. It is important to get the first course level as blocks above this course are laid dry without mortar. Construction continues by building up the corners, starting with a scraped half block and matching scraped full block. A T-junction also uses a scraped half and full block on alternating rows. This close-up shows the scraped blocks. The full block scraping is done using a scutch hammer. The top ridge of the block is gently chipped away until it is level with the sides of the block. The half block is scraped in the same manner. After the corner is built up, the block work is easily filled in. The blocks are dry stacked, meaning no mortar is used on this portion of the structure. Unskilled men and women can be trained to lay hydroform blocks with ease. The interlocking allows for easy and accurate laying of the block. A string line will assist in laying the blocks in a straight line. Conventional window and door frames are used and secured by nailing them into the hydroform block. Any size block can be measured off and cut using the hydroform block cutter. Above windows, door frames or openings, Concrete lintels can be used either pre-cast or cast in place. In conjunction with mortared hydroform blocks, a wire mesh is used above the window level. This creates a ring beam and ties down the roof structure. Blocks from this level upwards are laid in mortar. The mortar is usually a six-part sand and one-part cement mix. Hydroform walls can easily be plastered although the exterior is normally left as a face brick finish. Hydroform structures are beautiful outside as well as inside. Wooden window frames, steel or aluminium window and door frames can all be used. Roofing is conventional as per the local conditions and used with available roofing materials. As can be seen, over the years, Hydroform has perfected dry stack block manufacture for your ease of application and multi-purpose construction needs. Thank you for watching.